So now on to the first exercise in lesson seven, stacks and cues. First one is brackets. It's a painless task. So let's get straight into it. Okay, a string S consisting of N characters is considered to be properly nested if any of the following conditions is true. S is empty. S has the form U, U or U in different types of brackets where U is a properly nested string. S has the form VW where V and W are properly nested strings. For example, the string this one um, here is properly nested, but this one is not. Okay, so basically if you open a bracket, you have to close the bracket um, and it has to be either like, that is the example VW. So you've got two properly open and close brackets next to each other, or that is inside that which is inside that so really um, it's just the brackets have to match each other okay write a function uh, with the, the solution method that given a string s consisting of n characters returns one if s is properly nested and zero otherwise for example given that properly nested string the function should return one and given the one which isn't properly nested, the function should return zero. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. N, which is the length of the string, is an integer within the range of zero to 200,000. S contains only one of the following characters, either a normal open bracket, a curly open bracket, or a square open bracket, and then the equivalent close brackets. Okay, so I've prepared a class in Eclipse, uh, the brackets. Um, I'm gonna paste the solution method in there. Uh, now for this one, I think what we want to use is a stack. Uh, so the lesson is stacks and queues. Uh, if you're not sure of the difference, um, they're both lists. A queue is one where we add things and take them out in the in the same order. So it's just like a queue of people you join at the back and you leave at the front. So the first thing you put in is the first thing you take out. A stack is like a stack of things on a table, for example, where you add things to the list and you take them out the last in first out so uh, this is a good application for a stack so i'm going to create a stack of strings i'm just going to call it stack because we're only going to need one and if we see so i'm going to loop through every character in our, our string so I'm going to take a character out of the string by using substring method. And if that character is either an open normal bracket or it's an open square bracket or it's an open curly bracket, whichever open bracket it is, I'm gonna add it to our stack. Um, we push things onto a stack and we pop them off. So any type of open bracket, we're gonna add it to the stack. Otherwise, it's a closed bracket. So if character, we know it's a closed bracket because they're only going to give us one of the brackets it says in the description so if it's a closed bracket if what we pop off the stack is not an open bracket then the string
string isn't properly nested. And we're going to repeat that three times. So we're going to repeat that three times. So if it's a closed square bracket, we could do this more um, generically by defining which brackets match which brackets so that we could expand it later, but I'm just doing this in the simplest way. So if it's a closed bracket, then we want to pop the equivalent open bracket. And if we don't, the string isn't properly nested. And then finally return one, we've succeeded if that hasn't happened. Now I suppose we could see a close bracket before an open bracket. So what I'm going to, how do I deal with that? Um, if we see a close bracket, so if, if we haven't seen an open bracket, if we see a close bracket, if stack is empty, then we're not properly nested because we haven't seen any sort of a open bracket. That would of course been a runtime error because we would have popped probably null off the stack if it's empty or no it would have thrown an empty stack exception. So if stack is empty get out and of course at the end uh, we don't want any outstanding if we have like open bracket open bracket close bracket we'll get this far but we'll have something on the stack so if at the end if the stack is not empty then the string isn't properly nested so I think that's it so the the logic is we create a stack we see an open bracket we put it on the stack if we see a closed bracket if we haven't got anything on the stack we uh, return zero whichever type of closed bracket we see if we don't pop the equivalent open bracket off the stack we return zero if we get through the entire string without returning zero if now the stack is not empty because we've got an outstanding open bracket we return zero if none of this causes us to return zero we return one so let's have a go with their examples so their first example is properly nested so let's try that out So we're expecting that to be one, zero. Okay. And the final character is a closed curly bracket. And that's it. Ah, I just made a, forgot to, yeah, just a <laughs> typing error there. Uh, so try again and one, yeah, that's right. Let's go back for the not properly nested string. Uh, I'll just try. So I've kept the properly nested one, so we should see one zero. And finally, I'll just test it out with a empty string. We should see one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm reasonably confident that that is the solution that I want to submit. So let's just paste it in there. Uh, we need to import the stack class. So let's just 
take the let's just do that and it's run the tests okay so the two examples are okay let's submit that and see if it is a good solution of course the tests will probably involve like many open brackets followed by many closed brackets so we build up a big stack but that's still going to be okay yep 100 so uh, let's have a look at what it threw at it length of 120,000, 177,000 um, large negative test 10,000 open brackets followed by 10,000 closed brackets uh, various different extreme tests done there but it's uh, the stack was a good way to do that so that's how to do Codility's brackets task in Java thanks for watching